So why is Go so hip with all the cool kids? Because it's an easy to use compiled language. And normally, a compiled language is not that easy to use as we've seen with C, C++, and Java. But Go takes another spin on it, which is really nice. So these are popular general purpose languages in 2022. I have CPython, JavaScript and TypeScript, Rust, and Go. You'll see the performance of CPython is less than Go, and of JavaScript is fast-ish, which is really just a dependency on the environment that it's running in. You have Node.js, Bun, Deno, and you also have the browser itself. It really depends on the environment that it's running in. Rust seems to always be fast. It's essentially a C and C++ alternative, kind of like Carbon. And then in terms of ease of use, Python and Go are really easy to use languages. Go is a little bit less easy to use in Python because it exposes pointers and doesn't have classes and instead interfaces and uh, a bunch of other details like that. JavaScript is also pretty easy to use, but the thing with JavaScript is that since it's a language that has evolved so quickly over time, with more complex tasks, you'll notice that it's a little harder to accomplish certain things, which then you rely on a huge amount of dependencies for in your node modules. So that's kind of like a, a whole different story on its own, but it is pretty easy to use if you are a beginner. Rust is better than the original compiled languages like C, C++, and Java, and in terms of how easy it is to use, I prefer, I think at least, and it is just as fast, which is amazing. Now, just looking at these two alone, I think this is what makes Go so great as a general purpose language, because you can think about problems in more of an abstract methodology without sacrificing performance due to the extreme abstractions provided by the language itself. Go is mostly used for desktop apps, backend applications, DevOps, and CLI slash TUI applications. Python is used for all the same things, except it can also be used for game development with Pygame and data science with AI slash ML, which I'll show you in the next slide as well. JavaScript is mostly used for web development, but it's also now being used for mobile applications, backend applications, and game development. Rust is great for desktop apps as well, such as using Tauri, which I covered in the last video as well. And it also runs DevOps, backend servers, and is great for operating systems. Now let's do a quick comparison of their language syntax with a simple fixed length array example. So you'll see that Python doesn't have fixed length arrays. You have to use lists instead. Lists are variable length arrays. And if you wanna get a fixed length array, you can import NumPy, which has a native fixed length array. Rust, on the other hand, has a fixed length array. It's just a really interesting syntax to look at. You can probably tell in the first glance that it is initializing an array. You just have to get used to some of the characters. JavaScript and TypeScript both don't have fixed size arrays, which is kind of sad, but you can emulate fixed size arrays by creating regular lists and simply freezing their length. Go does have fixed size arrays and they have pretty a pretty clean syntax as well. There are a lot of shortcuts that have been developed in Go, which makes it a much easier to use language. Now in terms of popularity, I believe JavaScript, Python, Go, and Rust are right beside each other because when you remove HTML, CSS, and SQL, those are not general purpose languages. And then the ones we talked about have their own downsides, such as the C++, Java, and C with their varying levels of difficulty. So Go itself is a much more simpler language, what I think is what makes it so hip these days. And its comparative performance with the original compiled languages is what gives it the upper hand.